Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am doing a update on my health this postpartum. I am three months, about three months postpartum now and I just wanted to give a little update because you guys followed along with my whole pregnancy journey and her birth and how she's doing and so there's a few things new with my health that I wanted to talk about. Don't mind that through this video my location of filming changes and my outfit changes a couple times because I filmed this over several days because that's kind of the life of a mom. <laughs> so, but even with that, I hope you guys enjoy hearing about this and let's get right into this video. I've been feeling actually really good. My energy's up a little bit. I've still been dealing with trying to get my thyroid down under control, so I'm on a tincture for that and several supplements and just trying to eat a healthy diet, avoid gluten and have plenty of protein and healthy fats and different things like that. My main issue with eating is actually eating. <laughs> I can just like totally forget to eat like all day and that's really bad for the adrenals and thyroid. You gotta have like consistent meals and I don't like I mean, I shouldn't let such huge gaps go in between, but I just get I'm chasing around three kids all day. So I've been like really trying to remember to eat consistently, even if it's not like the absolute most healthy thing I could possibly eat, or even if it's just a little bit, it's going to be better than nothing. I mean, nothing in our house is really that unhealthy compared to the average American. But like, if I eat leftover pasta and meat, that doesn't sound all that healthy to me, but it's better than not eating. <laughs> so this third postpartum, I've been losing weight slower than the last two, which is up until like last week, I was having a really hard time with it. With the last two kids, I lost all the baby weight in three months because my thyroid's high. So I would gain like 60 to 80 pounds during my pregnancy and then it would be gone in three months, like just like that. So now I'm almost three months postpartum and I have like another 40 pounds to go and I'm like I was feeling really frustrated about that even though I shouldn't that's ridiculous that's like I shouldn't expect the weight to come off that fast every single time it's not even healthy that that happens it's just like I need to get over it <laughs> I was having a really hard time with it though and then last week I just started feeling more at peace with it. Yesterday I got interrupted part way through that filming, but I'm back now. So I was saying that I'm feeling a lot better with not losing the weight as fast. I'm just feeling you know, better about myself, not feeling the need to be stick thin all the time. I'm enjoying being a little bit more curvy than normal. It's a little bit of a nice change, a different sort of attractiveness. I've also still been working on getting my thyroid back down. It's still pretty high, so I'm also keeping an eye on Vivian since she's breastfeeding. There's a chance that with my thyroid being high, it could make hers go high, or the herbal supplements I'm on, they could go through my milk and make hers go low. So I'm just keeping an eye on her energy levels and appetite and pulse and all these different things and making sure that she's <laughs> staying as healthy as possible. Because obviously, ideally, I want to keep breastfeeding, but if something bad is coming through my milk, then that would be a good reason to stop and just put her on some homemade raw milk formula. It's something I've had to keep an eye on with all of my babies and it's never become an issue where I've actually had to stop because of that, so thankful for that and hopefully it doesn't happen this time either. I just started doing some pelvic pelvic floor physical therapy. So I started like two weeks ago and I've gone to two appointments now. So my midwife Sundano checked checked me after Vivian was born at like a week and then at eight weeks. And both times I had a prolapse, a uterine prolapse and it hadn't gone like up back at all in those what seven weeks in between those her checking them. So she was a little bit concerned about that, and so she had she said it'd be best if you went to a pelvic floor physical therapist because they'll give you exercises that'll help to strengthen everything and lift that back up. So I started seeing this lady in Missoula. She's really cool. There's a it's an office that has like a naturopath, and she's a physical therapist, and they, they were just really cool. So I've gone to two so far. Yesterday was my second appointment. 
and I was really excited because the prolapse had actually gone up in just a week and a half. It's not all the way back where it should be, but it's like on its way there, like, and that's way faster than I expected. So I have all these different exercises I'm supposed to be doing for my core and my glutes. And she said that my Kegels feel perfectly fine. So my problem is more that the muscles get too tense. So she, I am also supposed to be doing what's called reverse Kegels every day. And then also the core work is what's going to pull my uterus back up. So it's all really important. So whenever I go there, she helps to relax different muscle groups and she does like body work on my abdomen and all sorts of different things. So I'm really excited about my progress with that. They offer like a package deal with like six appointments and you get like 15% off each appointment if you pay for them all at once like that. So I went ahead and did that because I just really want to make sure I get this fixed. They also said they'll refund if you like, if you get all healed up before you've used all six appointments, they'll refund you for the rest of them, which is really nice. So I went ahead and paid for all six when I was there yesterday. And I'm just gonna work really hard and do my exercises every day and hopefully get it healed in less than six appointments. But it's worth it to me to pay to pay that and to feel better and have, be able to have more children. It's just an important thing, so I feel like it's worth the money. My milk has finally regulated. It seemed like it took forever this time and the right side produces so much more than the left side. It's very strange. And if one's gonna leak, that's the one that's gonna leak at night. I have to kind of keep an eye on them and stop them from leaking if they start. Otherwise, I'll just wake up completely soaked. And because once it starts, it like just won't stop until it's empty. It's ridiculous. And then the other one doesn't really do that. So it's like, I don't know what's up with that one this time. And it wasn't like this breastfeeding the other two kids. So I don't know why it's different this time, but it definitely is. So I, since I haven't lost the weight as fast, but it's different than having a lot of weight when you're pregnant, a lot of my pregnancy clothes aren't really fitting anymore because either they're pregnancy clothes and something about having a belly helps like keep the pants pulled up and so they just like fit wrong. Like I'm still bigger, but in a different way <laughs> than when I'm pregnant and I'm certainly not small enough to fit into my pre-pregnancy clothes. So I've had to find a few pieces that fit me for this like kind of in-between period. So it's been nice to just make the leap and get a few things that actually fit me right now because I feel so much better. That actually could be why I'm all of a sudden feeling better about myself is because I have some clothes that fit me nicely and that I feel kind of sexy in and nice or clothes that are comfortable even, you know, even though I'm a little bit heavier right now, they're not like squeezing me and reminding me that I'm still better than normal. Maybe I'll do a video soon on my favorite postpartum outfits. That would be a fun video. Comment down below if you would like to see something like that because it would definitely it would definitely be fun to put together. So I think that's mostly it. Just the main things for my update are that I'm in physical therapy and that's going really well. I'm just losing weight slower. I'm working my thyroid, all these all these main things. But other than that I've been feeling really good, more stable, more um, able to do things. I can run now without feeling like my pelvis is going to fall out, which is really nice. <laughs> it's a good feeling. So I'm just excited for this next phase ahead with three children and hopefully having a bit of a nice, a nice big break before I get pregnant again to kind of get some of these issues fixed up and healed before I my body through another pregnancy. So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little update and I will see you in my next video. Bye.